Good morning everyone. Today's topic is I would like to discuss a problem on Lagrange's mean value theorem. It is in the previous question paper problem that is carries the 8 10 marks. Okay. Using mean value theorem using mean value theorem for 0 is less than A is less than B prove that one minus a by b is less than log b by a is less than b by a minus 1 and hence show that and hence show that 1 by 6 is less than log 6 by 5 is less than 1 by 5. Here, observing the given relation, clearly here log b by a is nothing but log b by a by the logarithmic rules log b minus log a. It is nothing but f of b minus f of a. Here clearly the function f of x is log x. It is defined in the interval a comma b. This is the idea about the given problem how we can find out the functional function that function can be defined in which interval okay here the Lagrange's mean value theorem is the Lagrange's mean value theorem is let f of x is defined in close interval a comma b such that the conditions of Lagrange's f of x is continuous on close interval a comma b Second one is f of x is derivable on open interval a comma b. Then there exists a point c belongs to open interval a comma b such that f dash of c equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a. It is the statement of the Lagrange's mean value theorem. Okay. Now clearly here the function is log x. It can be defined in the closed interval a comma b by observing the relation. But we can show that 1 minus a by b is less than log b by a is less than b by a minus 1. No worry about that relation, just you follow the theorem statement and immediately by solving of that theorem statement, we can easy to get the relation. Okay, here we know that log x is, we know that here where 0 is less than a is less than b. For positive values, the log x is continuous it is a continuous function on closed interval a comma b it is the first case first condition of the Lagrange's the second condition is f of x is equal to log x derivative of the function f of x is 1 by x here where 0 is less than a is less than b means here x value is belongs to open interval a comma b means it's a positive value it must be not equal to zero 
it is not equal to zero, it's not equal to infinity. When it is not equal to infinity, then it is a clearly continuous function. Therefore, f is derivable. When the derivative function is also continuous, then the function is derivable function in open interval a comma b. The function f of x satisfies the f of x satisfies the two conditions of two conditions of Lagrange's mean value theorem. So, by using the Lagrange's mean value theorem, we can show that by using Lagrange's mean value theorem, we can show that 1 minus a by b is less than log b by a is less than b by a minus 1. Okay? Now, by the Lagrange's mean value theorem, by the Lagrange's mean value theorem, Then there exists a point C belongs to open interval A comma B such that F dash of C equal to F of B minus F of A by B minus A. Here, find out the F dash of C value. F dash of C equal to 1 by C. F dash of X equal to 1 by X. Then F dash of C equal to 1 by C. F of B equal to log B. F of A equal to log a. These values substitute in the above relation. F dash of c equal to means 1 by c equal to log b minus log a by b minus a. This is a relation of c and a b. But by the theorem c is belongs to open interval a comma b means a is less than c is less than b. But what we have, it is a reciprocal 1 by c. Just we can take in the reciprocal 1 by a. Less than becomes greater than 1 by c is greater than 1 by b. Here in the place of 1 by c, you write this one. 1 by a is greater than log b minus log a by b minus a is greater than 1 by b. Now, now, 1 by b is less than log b minus log a by b minus a is less than 1 by a. The cross multiply with b minus a. B minus A by B is less than log X minus log Y means log X by Y. B by A is less than B minus A by A. Write separately. B by B minus A by B is less than log B by A is less than B by A minus A by A. It is 1 minus A by B is less than log b by a is less than b by a minus 1. It is the relation what they are asking. Okay. From this relation, we can choose what is the b and a values. And to show that, to show that 1 by 6 is less than log 6 by 5 is less than 1 by 5. It is nothing but here clearly a comma b interval is 5 comma 6. 
that a equal to 5, b equal to 6, right in the, right in the relation, above relation, then in the place of a, 5 by 6 is less than log 6 by 5 is less than 6 by 5 minus 1. Is taking LCM 6 minus 5 by 6 is less than log of 6 by 5 is less than 6 minus 5 by 5. It is 1 by 6 is less than log of 6 by 5 is less than 1 by 5. The second case is also proved. Okay. The relations how we can find out by using the mean value theorem means first we can identify the function that function can be defined in which interval. If they are asking about AB means we can clearly the function is defined in AB. If the same AB is in values means you don't confuse just you take the relation comparing with this then we can easy to identify what is the A value, what is the B value. Just you substitute in the above relation, the limits or the functional values can be defined in which interval those values substitute in the, we can easy to get the relation of the second one also. Okay. This is the way how we can find out. It is a 10 marks question. It is very easy to solve and carries the good marks. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and share it to your friends. And I am taking online classes also. If you need, you contact me. Okay. Thank you.